Ah, uh, welcome to another session with me, your favorite Lovedi goddess. Um, I get the lalia manjina si Actually, I think that lately I've just been saying what I want to keep things short. So I posted a video, this one <laughs> over here, um, Diko Shaya Makazi Mabuda. And I love the song so much. something that I've been wanting to talk to you guys about. Um, uh, during uh, from social media, I actually wanted to discuss something that I had bumped into online. Um, I was busy fiddling like anyone, he busy to fiddle. And then I bumped into this other article. Yeah, but the African mythology and then got yeah, it gets in. Let me enter, let me check out what it's about. And then, as I was reading, I just became more and more flabbergasted on what was written on that article. So, anyway, I've healed from that. The spirit of educating, the spirit of sharing, but not oversharing. Uh, and also, I would like for you guys who are not valuable. Leodwe Zawaye Ganna, a person who is a lovely person and from my lived experiences and what I know. So um, this article that I bumped about, it was an article that was talking about African mythologies as well as deities that exist. And right on the third bottom of the list, um, the author stated that Mujajigi um, is one, Mujaji, there is a Mujaji deity which is like a rain goddess um you know uh, people come and pay their respect they offer these offerings to mujaji there's this there's that there's that there's that and yeah you know basically it was just describing mujaji as this mystic feature um especially because like in a cola there were you know guys know would know what the queens are, are not people that you can just randomly bump into except obviously uh our, our last queen our previous not last our previous queen uh Mago. she was a, like she was a person who was outgoing out there and whatnot but the rest of the people were you know people who were meant to be you know away from uh the public's eye they were not supposed to be like everywhere or what so i think this gave an impression that uh maybe he, i don't know maybe they had they, this feel like mystic beings that have this mystic powers and whatnot and which is completely wrong i'm just here to clear that for people who might have thought like this um so I will first explain why um, the um, the article was incorrect and then I'll move on to the song Yamakaze that actually inspired me to make this video and then I will conclude on what I know. Um, so the article obviously stated that and that is not true. The Mojajis are not mystic feature, um, creatures, they're not creatures that have these powers and you know they go out and they you know they perform miracles and then they pull clouds and whatever no they don't do that um a lot of you would know Oguti, all across um the ones that i know of obviously um across zimbabwe uh crossing into your um venda or crossing all the way to Lobatawa, you know um they are what do we call ancient um rain shrines you know these are shrines or the altars the altar they are rare they have like shrines um where they actually go uh it, it will be kings chiefs with their families and you know specific healers of the land specific seers of the land specific messengers of the land who would go to the shrines uh holy places and they would go there and they would speak to their ancestors which are 
people who are guarding their land, which are people who once lived on that land, their guardians. Uh, these are their angels. These are the people who are guarding them. These are people who know about their lineage. These are people who are carrying their history. These would be people who they would go to these people. They would go, uh, you know, back to them and they would ask them to, you know, enlighten them on certain things, enlighten them on the land, things that are going to happen to the land. And also amongst all those things, they would also ask for rain. They will ask for wealth. They will ask for wisdom. They will ask for power in terms of, in times of war. They would ask for, you know, they would ask for different things, you know. But it was mostly for, they would ask for, the reason why only leaders were allowed or people from specific a hierarchy would go there is because they wanted people to go there to ask on behalf of the rest of the people. You don't go there as an individual. Well, there are people who probably went for as individuals, you know, for out of greed. But they went there for the betterment of the community because remember, the Bantu people are, peop are communal people. Like Rabashwaki Ibari group, we are people of, you know, uh, we are a village. So they would go there and ask for these things. Even healers, even the the strongest healer that you would know, they wouldn't just stand up and start pointing there and there and then. No, they would have to ask to the creator of the earth, heaven and earth. They would ask to Mambo. They would ask to Mudimu. They would ask to Mudimu. Yeah, to they would ask to him or him they would ask to the creator ne, not him they would ask to the creator or mudim like can you please um in terms of when there's hot seasons very very hot seasons droughts they would ask or have mercy on our land you know our god of our forefathers forefathers uh you know like our guardians you know where are you are you present uh please avail yourself because your land is suffering you know do not let your land go barren um don't be silent don't uh, don't go there and ask you know um in general is one of the um of the shrines um in south africa that i know of that is well that is still very much well known and it has now turned into a heritage site uh that was a rain shrine you know there are rain shrines where people go and you know do these things and there's also you don't just go and ask there's also obviously rituals that go with it there's um Offerings that people offer, there's also rituals that are performed and it's also performed at a specific time, you know. And also, it's not just about rain, it's about the entire climate of that whole community that they would love to experience as a community, you know. Yeah, so the Mujahids are not this mystic people, who whatever. But again, who are the Mujahids, you know? When we're talking about the mujajis the mujajis are people who when they were born they were born into a tribe whereby um they, they their tribe specializes in the, they specialize in guarding uh the, the the climate they specialize in guarding um the 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 kuri the climate of their people, they they know how to, they know the ritual, they know the charms, they know the procedure, you know, they're born with a gift of asking for rain, they're born with a gift, because remember, when we're born into this world, we're all born with our different gifts, you know, uh, we all have different gifts. Um, some other know just know how to tap into their purpose and tap into their spirituality more than others and others are just chosen I want, so I would say they were chosen individuals who were tr entrusted with guarding uh, the, 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 the climate of their people so on, spe on specific occasions they would perform their rituals the way they were taught by their four forefathers who knew be from their own forefathers on how to perform these rain rituals, um, drought, um, you know, you know, and also a healthy continuity of the climate. It, it was not just about, oh, make it rain. No, it was about performing a ritual for a healthy continuity of the climate.
you know exactly that was what it would go on and also uh during these rituals one of the most important things were uh the rain dance you know uh it was one of the like even now as grown as i am i won't lie to you and say i have ever seen any queen with my own two eyes doing the rain dance in the history of the world with the people i've never heard of it i've never seen it only specific individuals with specific intellect wisdom and powers are, are, are supposed to experience that moment you know so not just for individuals and then let's go to uh that's actually the song that inspired me to um make this video so makazi in the song this one Okay, let me pause it here. So, yelele mabula we, yelele mabula. Yelele mabula we, yelele mabula. Limbije mabula, limbije mabula. Limbobo ge mabula, limbobo ge mabula. Gene sabula, gaeni sabula. So, that part. Okay, anyway, the song is mabula. Mabula is, um... Queen guy was rudely interrupted. Anyway, um, Mabula is basically um the rain mother or the rain goddess. That is a Mabula. So in that song, Makazi is saying Limbige Mabula, Genesabula, like call me Mabu rain uh goddess. Okay, call me rain goddess or rain mother. Um, I make it rain. I stop the rain. Uh, call me uh rain goddess. Um, yes. So okay that part you hear and then she continues to say one thing that is very uh very it, like it stands out for me uh she says um if like like i like i put the i put shoes on my back to make it stop so that I can like stop the rain from raining. I can put shoes on my back to stop the rain. Like carry the shoes on my back. It's basically what she that exactly what she means. So now that part, actually, it is um, an old, uh, very very old ancient um, belief uh, that works that i can tell you that works so uh where i'm from they believe that if when it's raining too much and they want it to stop raining maybe because they don't want floods uh, and stuff like that you can take shoes and put them on your back to stop it from raining you can do that um it is a belief and a lot of elderly people believe it even today like it's a thing if you even if you go to ask a child it is a thing you know, that if it's overly raining or if it's too soon for you just maybe planted your seeds or like it's plow season and you don't want the rain to come immediately because you're not done with putting in the seeds on the ground uh you want to finish that process a lot of people do put shoes in their back while they're busy working their machimos their farms and then when they're done they go and then they start praying for rain <laughs> um it's actually a thing so makazi is basically sharing with you guys some of the uh rain making or rain uh processes that take place in the upper north of south africa uh those are some of the things that that is one thing that i wanted to share with you guys that that is a thing like if it's overly raining and the river is too full uh it's flooding your houses are just in shambles now yeah you can take shoes and you know any kind of shoe put it on your back with a towel whatever secure it and yeah and it might stop <laughs> i don't know depending on what you believe in and where you were raised so that is the thing um so uh out of all those things what do i want to clear up what i just wanted to clear up from this lie uh from from this video is that uh the mujajis are not mystic creatures you know no they are just people with gifts just like any healer just like any um person with a gift you know gifted person they have a gift of making it rain and they also just so happens that they are of royalty 
So on top of being royalty, they are given gifts that um, help their community. They, they, that's why like a lot of people are not people of war. They are not, you know, like we're not politics like like as like i don't even want to get too deep into it i think i should make another video to properly explain what i want to say but like people with gifts uh people uh um clans tribes that are led by people with um specific gifts um you don't find them in messy's dramatic warlike situations because they need to uh, maintain a certain level of um of in of of aura they have to like put uh, maintain a specific aura around them they have to uh carry a specific energy that is balanced that is very much balanced and i think that is the reason why i uh, carry a because i don't know what that's why they would say or like you like you can't just meet the the queens at any time because these are people that have to maintain their stability their people who have to maintain their you no know, they have to keep it balanced in there so that because they like you are a spiritual person you're not a deity way now everyone now just cut off their head and then they lay in front of you no you know you don't give people wealth no um you are just a person um who has stepped into a different dimension of spirituality that is why Gary, i always emphasize that the Balawiri queens and kings before um they were just more than leaders they were spiritual leaders it's just that a lot has gotten lost in terms of translation um and also just because of colonialism that is why on the internet when you search you just find a lot of misinformation um so that is all that i wanted to share with you guys today um i don't have much to say um that is all i wanted to say for today uh because of the song thank you makazi continue giving us amazing music and i'll just like to thank you guys for always um subscribing sharing commenting and sharing your views um please do subscribe share this and yeah i'll see you guys on another video uh where we'll be talking about uh practices that we do uh in the video that i find very 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 interesting yeah thank you so much from me to you is nothing but love